Now if you've seen my earlier videos on hydrogen hookups with motorbikes then you know that the what I'm suggesting is a uh, passive electrical system. Passive might not be the correct word but it is an indirect hookup whereas every other HHO device out there is a direct a direct hookup the motorbike hookup is an indirect hookup meaning we're using power for something like a headlight and then we're passing the power through the HHO unit in a sense killing two birds with one stone uh, now I've come across this a uh, youtuber with a unique opportunity for us all he is 150 miles per gallon that's 150 miles per gallon this is the YouTube name I'll have a post down here somewhere uh, so you can see this he's got a 2000 Honda hybrid it is like the first hybrid that Honda Honda introduced and uh, it presents a unique opportunity I think now you know all hybrids have a uh, to to review a hybrid in general the drivetrain is driven by an electrical motor and not a gas powered motor the electrical motor is driven by batteries and when the batteries uh, die out they are recharged by a internal combustion engine hooked to a generator now why uh, 150 miles per gallon car is uh, unique is because he's been he's had it for years and you know it's over 10 years old the batteries in it have died out and the he has the batteries switched off and so now it to get the car to move anywhere the engine has to be engaged but it's still a, an electrical driven drivetrain the gasoline engine is turning a generator and that generator is producing providing power for the drivetrain now I think this I say this is a unique opportunity because I've had this idea where a hydrogen electric car could get further on the same tank of hydrogen you know uh, the hydrogen electric car is an electric car only the electricity comes from a hydrogen cell hydrogen and oxygen combine and the electrons produced are used to drive the electrical system well my thought was that you take the let me get my hand in here you take the hydrogen cell right you bring the hydrogen into there and then it produces the electricity and then it goes to the drive motor so, you know you have the electricity going from the hydrogen cell to the drive motor which is probably a lot of amps uh, a lot of watts coming through there so if you were to take the passive HHO unit and put it right here in between the power would have to pass through the HHO unit you then could take power or excuse me you could take power uh, go through the HHO unit and then restore some hydrogen back to the hydrogen cell now I'm not claiming over unity on this I'm what I'm claiming is since you have since the electricity has to pass through the passive HHO unit before it can get to the drivetrain it will produce HHO it will produce hydrogen and that hydrogen can be reused back into the hydrogen cell I'm not claiming over unity on this idea I'm claiming extra miles per fill up of hydrogen now the Honda hybrid that 150 
miles per gallon has presents a unique opportunity and I think that this can work the same way the the, the uh, engine is producing electricity which then has to go to the electric drivetrain you then push the HHO unit in the middle of that and the electricity has to pass through the HHO unit to get power to the drivetrain. That hydrogen then can be used back into the internal combustion engine to improve the miles per gallon. Now I don't uh, think that uh, 150 miles per gallon can do this on his own. He doesn't play with hydrogen. He doesn't play with HHO and you know if I had the money I would just buy the unit and reconfigure it and send it out to him but I think this is going to take uh, effort from everybody to get this vehicle going so take a look at this guy's car consider what I'm proposing and let's see let's see what we can do alright